Okay. Apparently. Jump over here. Or just die. <clears throat> Wait, no. Probably go down here first. Sort of. Okay. I didn't see that. That is, uh... Interesting. Okay, so this opens the left door that I thought. That switch never opened. Because it wants me to go up there, okay. Um, tierly.net. I can... A second and I can link it to you. Because I have, I used to have a, like, this command. I do, but I disabled it because um, I have to like manually change it every time I play it too early, and I'm incredibly late. Yeah, I'll link it to you right now. Nine point two five rating. Okay. Felt what I expected. Run, you know, but I'd give it so far anyway. When I downloaded it, like a day after it came out and it had no ratings yet. No problem. It was a pleasure to link people to, you know, good Tyrolee. this mic. Alright! Thank you for following, Soteris. Okay. Maybe... No. Total dum dum sometimes. Total dum dum, I tell you. Down there. Okay. But I can make it, but apparently just decoration or whatever. Maybe it's a secret. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, welcome back, cheesy Doritos. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can probably... Maybe this will work. Yep. Oh, I thought that was a pickup or whatever, but it's just, uh... Okay, alright. Another bear. All over these aisle, they activate the door. It should work just fine because 
worked just fine for me. Didn't have to like configure anything. Just extracted it and uh, you know, fired up. Hmm. Okay. Okay, maybe Wait, look at that. second one and then I don't like uh, that the puzzle early on in two meter four okay that one this one and then Whatever this puzzle is, it's interesting. I thought it was the the um the uh, textures and the tiles up there and they coincide with we have the That secret in um, the first secret in uh, Sanctuary of the Skion. Oh, not Sanctuary. Timothy Oaken. You just have to like walk on the uh, tiles, maybe. Yeah. For the period of time, maybe it's. Um, Jumped on the my point two three. One. Puzzle too. Maybe it's depends on how you do it.
Okay, I don't know what I did, but... Progress. Progress. I'll take it. down a different tile and it's gonna take me a long time to get used to that stupid microphone being there I think maybe I should save as soon as I open the um get the door to open See you later, Satyrus. Okay, that's what I had to do. Okay. And that was the end of the level. Okay. Fun level. Loved that puzzle at the end. I only got one of the three secrets. Let's, uh, let's save here. The Lost Ship. Okay. I got the feeling that there's a secret of some kind. If I do a jump properly. Okay, I see the large med pack. So then again, that might be like the uh, patrol. Yeah, I'm thinking it's probably just a goal. Or it's a secret. But, um, I'm not really doing an all-secrets run of this, because this is my first playthrough. You know, it's kind of stupid to do a... all-secrets run when, you know, you're on your first playthrough, because... yeah. I might be able to. Laura, what is your problem, Laura? Well, I mean, this is better. He is generally incredibly competent when it comes to that kind of stuff. Is it rare? Is it rare? Is it rare? There's not. Oh, there is. Looks like this is the uh, lost ship that. That last level, but I'll choose bed pack. Okay, this dumbass is down. Might have to go back into the water. But I'd rather explore this area first. Ooh. Ooh. Music. Be a shimmy spot. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, it's and I lost the music. Caught up there right now. What would we have to get to? 
Yeah. We get up there. Oh, no. We can't climb up it because it's meter one and ladders from Shadoo. Yeah. Looks like there's a wolf over there. Two of them, okay. And of course, Laura, you target the wolf that's farther away. Of course you do, Laura. What you do? I think I'm gonna go up here for before I go to Well, this isn't Tomb Raider 2 or Tomb Raider 3, where that would probably be like a spike trap. Well, it is the lost ship, so it could be. And it's named Nordic Adventures, so probably like a Viking ship. Oh, we're finally on the ship. Okay. Alright. Um, nobody home, I guess. Murder, I'd expect monsters of some kind, but this is a door. Oh, no, looks like one. One is definitely movable, as you can tell. I like the crosshair seam in the, uh, the tile. The texture, t the texture for the tile. Another. Welcome back, Loggy. We have another one. Okay. I've got two tiles, so I can. If necessary, I can push this one up against the uh, tile behind me. Probably am, anyway. Or who knows, I might actually have to pull the tile in here to like get some place, but I don't think I can. No, I can't. Because I did the right thing. Damn it, Laura, look, there's a chest right there, probably with treasure in it. Why don't you want to pick any of that up? Thanks, okay. Just when I think you've said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking. Hey, come on, I'm not boxes. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Oh, okay. Rats. And a cogwheel, okay. This can be kind of like a Lost Valley level. Alright. Alright, I'm down with that. I'm just kind of weird to... I'm gonna check and see if... Maybe some of the other spike pits have something like that? I mean, you know. That was all just skill to demonstrate, you know, or just to demonstrate my skills. That I accidentally... Oh, oh, there's water down there.
Yeah, probably out of all the uh, Tomb Raider engines, Tomb Raider 1, Hero Elise are probably the rarest. Probably because up until a couple years ago, he had to use like DOS box and, st <clears throat> and stuff. Damn, I am getting kind of thirsty. Probably the drink. Yeah. Okay, secret. Alright. Pull up here and okay, that's my way out. All right, all right, good. More treasure that Laura does not want. Okay, more shotgun shells. Full med pack. Where are my magnums? Five small med packs, one large med pack, two magnum clips, 14 shotgun shells, and rusty old pistols. There is a mod that you can add the um, ponytail to uh, this version of the game, the Tomb ATI version. I'm assuming we need three cogs. And I'm assuming this way over here is the way back. I think they originally wanted to add the ponytail in Tomb Raider 1, but like the frame race would chug with it. They managed to fix it for Tomb Raider 2. I just like Tomb Raider 2 better no matter what. More refined. Yeah, refined better. one isn't horrible. You know, not my favorite, but it isn't horrible. Okay. Thing there. Up there. I'm not sure if I go in water I can actually get back out. Okay. This guy, come up over here so I can dispose of him. Good. Yeah. I know there was some sort of glitch with um, the ponytail in Tomb Raider 1. I didn't know exactly what it was. I heard that it was a frame rate. I heard that was the most common thing I heard, so I assume, you know, with it being the most common thing, that it would be, you know, the most likely thing. But. Yeah, I can see it being the ponytail, because hair is pretty difficult to get right in, you know, not just games, but any, like, 3D rendered things. That's why they tried, you know, they made such a big deal about the, um, oh, damn it, what's the microphone again? <sighs> made such a big deal about the, you know, Tress FX hair in, um, Tomb Raider 2013. Hmm. Look around under water. I feel I like a return path. Final thing I have to do in the level. Back to the first underwater area. And then I open at least one more path. Probably two paths. <laughs> gotta be, you know, gotta remember the mics right here now. Instead of having that mod mic that, you know, it's like a headset mic. But I messed that up too. It can be uh, quite clumsy from. I was gonna say from time to time, but it's more of a most of the time. that spot over there. And it launches the music out again, okay. 
Unless it's good music that it's playing. Left here. Eight other area. I can see if there are any items. Nope. Not like there's any items in the water here either. And okay, three switches. I think those are just trap doors. And the trap door. This looks um, quite, quite involved. I think there's any items to pick up. Any items to pick up there? Nope. and then jump into the um, area. Okay. There's another switch there. Okay. <laughs> that falls down. the uh, soundtracks for four and five as much as I do for, you know, the first three. It has to do with the fact that, you know, the first are just four iconic games, especially like the first one. But what is with me and... Damn it. I don't want to lose that much health, so we're doing... Actually, do need to. So far, the puzzles in this have been great. I mean, it is a better tier early. Kind of with expectations going in, it's actually going to be great, and so far, it has been. I'm not saying 4 and 5's music's bad, I'm just saying it's just not as good, in my opinion, as the... Oh! Okay. Back up. Tomb Raider game ever. Everything about AOD is great. The music, the gameplay, the graphics. Oh yeah. The Jeep music is... It's good, definitely. Down, this place on the 
Fossil, Dead Fire. Did with the Iron Ireland levels and yeah. the Chronicles is more of, probably because people like the um, like young Laura aspect, but they hated the uh, tutorial, mandatory tutorial from you know getting a tutorial. Get up top. The ultimate goal. All the levels are, you know, pretty decent. It's just that the VCI levels were incredibly buggy. It's probably a big problem with uh, them. Okay, what we probably want is for that to pop up. Huh. 
I mean, this is not an annoying puzzle, so I'm not frustrated. You know, I'm gonna get down, you know. I'm gonna finish it. Best kind of puzzle. that down. <laughs> yeah, what <laughs> could possibly go wrong? And this isn't Bubsy. that much. <gasps> Ooh, what the hell was what? Um <gasps> That's interesting. That's very interesting. Apparently that could go wrong. Okay. 
here. But that one. That one's still but Zooming. You can change position. Some of these people. Thank you. 